How's it going guys at Yuga by TCG and we're opening up some blisters. I'm waiting on some cool stuff to come from KTCG and eBay, so we're kind of stuck with what I have right now, but still have some really cool blisters from Maze and Millennia, Wild Sowers, and Million Smashers. Also, when we hit 700 subs, we're going to be opening up a Stormer Ragnarok Special Edition, so super excited about that. And then the giveaways, we'll all be announcing those. I'll probably just announce them in shorts on my YouTube channel. I'm going to do that this week, so should be soon. And then I'll do a community post about who won and stuff, and then just basically proof that you're the person that won, and that'll be pretty much it. And I use Comment Picker to pick who wins, so. Ooh, first Maze and Millennia pack. Could have a Collector Rare. Also, also be another Ultra Rare. And it's Transaction Rollback. I actually think this is not a bad one, but we're obviously looking for just Collector Rares. Uh, I guess Bonfire would be really good to pull. Either Collector Rare or Ultra Rare, but... You know. We're looking mostly for Collector Rares, obviously. Wild Survivors, there's still quite a few Collector Rares I want. Actually, out of all these sets, to be honest, there's still quite a few Collector Rares I want. So, let me just adjust this. Yeah, that'll be a little bit easier to put the garbage in. And we get Foy Glyce Denovalis. It's hard for me to pronounce those cards. Going to Valiant Smashers now. But yeah, I don't know. It just seems like right now there's a lull, you know, like in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Like, um, we don't really have a ton of stuff out. Um, obviously we have Phantom Nightmare, but I'm really waiting on... Ooh, hold on. Can we get a Collector Rare? And just an Ultra Rare. Center Ion. I don't know. There's some really cool stuff coming out in Japanese, which... Sneak peek. We, have, we do have some Japanese coming in, so... I know some of you guys were really wanted some more Japanese stuff, so we're trying to get some more Japanese stuff. And then um, Korean, we've got some Korean stuff coming in as well. Is that clear? Yeah. Just a earthbound prison. But yeah, so we have some cool stuff coming in. Um, English, I don't really have a ton that I'm thinking about getting right now. Nothing really interesting to me, except for like, you know, obviously the future sets. But besides that, no, English for me right now, it's... We'll also open up some Phantom Nightmare and stuff, because I still have not pulled the one card I really want out of that set. But for the most part, it's going to be a lot of Japanese and Korean for the, like, more, I should say, like, variety. But we're still going to be opening up English, too. I'm not, not that I'm not saying that. But, like, as you guys probably know from watching the last video, I don't care at all for that new Battle of Legends set. It's just not my thing. Um, I know a lot of you guys in the comments like it. I'm guessing you guys are players. Because as a player, I get that. There's a lot of cool stuff to go try and, you know, get out of it. But, you know, I only collect. So, there's nothing for me to go after. I guess, like, the U-Bell. But I honestly rather just go for U-Bell in a different set. Like in um, the GX. Legendary Collection GX. Obviously, it's more expensive to open that, but I do like the U-Bell better than that. Alright, we got Earthbound Servant from Maze. Yeah, Japanese has some awesome stuff coming out, not going to lie. To we aren't going to get in English. At least we won't get it in the same capacity. We might eventually get the cards, obviously, in English, but I don't think we're going to get them in the same style set, unless they surprise us. They have a Dark Magician Girl and Dark Magician set coming out, and then they have a Blue Eyes, Red Eyes set coming out. They're both really, really cool. They have alternate arts for both of those, which is really cool. So definitely a very cool set. This isn't going to be the longest video. I have a hard time opening up so little packs. I'm so used to doing live streams. It's like, 
boom, 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 going through them. Like when I open up like 15 to 20 packs, sometimes they can, I sometimes rush it, I feel like. We got Doppel Warrior, Armored Xyz. It also doesn't help when you're opening up newer um, collector sets that the hits either two cards in, which makes it so you don't really go through the whole pack. Or what was that maze? Okay. Or it can be obviously, I think it's five cards in if it's a hit. But then again, that can be also just an ultra rare. So it's just weird. I wish they would just have them all at the end of the pack, like older collector sets. Like King's Court had it like that. Toon Chaos had it like that. Um, Genesis Impact. I'm trying to think when they changed it. I feel like they changed it with, oh my god, what was the name of that set? It had Water Enchantress in it, I believe. Lost World, Pre-Preparation of Rights, and we got Conferis de Um, What was the name of that set? Grand Creators, I think. I think that was the first set that they changed the style of how the sets were arranged. I think that was the set. Could be wrong. Come on, hit. No, another oh, super rare. So we got one ultra out of Alien Smashers, one ultra out of Maze of Millennia, and none out of Wild Survivors yet, but we still have one pack of each. Be sick to pull a bonfire. That would actually be really good. And we got Earthbound Prison, so. Fortunately, Maze only had the one hit. I don't remember how expensive that card is. Uh, it's been a while since I've opened up Maze of Millennia. Maybe it hasn't been that long. I, just feel like I don't memorize that set very well. But what's the expensive cards? I know Bonfire is very expensive. Couldn't tell you what the expensive cards in Wild Star is, but there's cards that I want to pull. Oh, no. So Wild Survivor is nothing... The crazy thing with Wild Survivors is we had some insane hits to start Wild Survivors, and then since then we have not pulled anything out of Wild Survivors. Alien Smashers are kind of like that too. We had one huge box of Alien Smashers that had two collector rares in it. Since then, I don't think I've pulled a collector out of this set. Let's go into the last pack. Advanced draw. And oh, super. I hate that. I wish they would just put it here. Like they like the ultra, so this is where it is in the normal pack. So makes sense, right? No, they put it here if it's super rare, here if it's ultra rare, collector rare. Super interesting, but that's what they do. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and I have some really awesome content coming soon. Just waiting on them to actually get here. Um, so once they actually get here, we'll have some really cool videos coming up. So hope you guys uh, have a good day.